Hello YouTube viewers, this is Avi here. Today I will show you how to make a game prop. So you may ask what is, what is a game prop? It's a 3D object that is used in game. For this example, I'm gonna show you uh, this Walter P99. A game prop is just a 3D object that is used in game and it has to be realistic to the concept or to the real world. Like in this case, it has to be, mm, you know, accurate to the real world. And this video is about how to get started. Because if you, you know, don't properly uh, get prepared and start working in a, you know, disciplined fashion, your outcome could look like this. You're like, whoa, if you are one of those guys, like, whoa, that's good. Uh, this is how it's supposed to look. And uh, just for some reason, I don't think this and this matches. And if you are one of those guys, uh, nice man, looks real. Dude, no, no, it's, it's just no, no, okay, no. I mean, like, uh, for showing you an example how hard it is to make a very good um, you know gun model this is a pretty decent one awesome textures awesome you know modeling and accuracy everything but it also sucks you said what this gun has a magazine that supports 16 rounds and I seriously don't think this is that sling and yeah, this part I'm going to also. So these kind of error happens if you don't follow certain protocols and you know, like thoroughly do your research. So that's why. Uh, so how should you get started? Well, I like to follow a protocol known as RPG. It simply means research, proportion, and geometry. Proportion and geometry are the same thing, but research is the first step. Data collection. And you need two kinds of data. First, the geometrical data, like this, you know, weight, length, you know, width, height, and other stuff. This will help you into, you know, uh, starting up. And the second is the game data, like what is the bullet speed if it's like Battlefield 3 and, you know, there is actual points going from gun barrel to the, you know, target. You have to feed in that data and computer will calculate. So you need to say, is it a supersonic round or you know subsonic round and what round you are using like uh, there are hundreds of model I am using this round 9 into 19 millimeter palindrome round and I will go with full metal jacket it has better penetration and generally known as armor piercing so yeah and that and it does not kill a person in one shot so I'm awesome you can you know torture it's awesome so People generally, you know, skip the research. They are like, okay, I found few images and like, lol, I'm, I'm good with that. No, you have to research a lot. And things that could help you in research is first Wikipedia. Second is the manual of the gun itself. This will give you multiple idea about the gun, like which version you are making, what is the ammo type, how it works, and you know how much slide. See. This helps you like a lot. You may say this is not the same, but this, this is the third generation of the gun. And you see, P99AS only has this side cocker, but QA does not have this. So, everything is here. Where is the ejection board? How is, you know, how it shows you how it is cocked or not, you know? Everything is in this manual. Like, just, you don't have to read line by line, okay, of course, you don't have to do that. Just pay attention and you know like you will find something interesting like this if you are making a uh, other calibers like uh, 45 for instance or 40 smiths and wrists you can use this and this see this amount of data is quite hard to find on google itself so you know research and the more you do in the first time less you have to do in the second time let's say you are working on a project where you have to build five handguns the more you do in the first, the less you have to do in the other. Otherwise, you will be screw up. See, like this part is a interchangeable grip. It is interchangeable, and many games like let's say Far Cry 3, generally they only change the texture. But you know, you can go a step further and say, you know what, you can change the grip itself. And as the game are progressing, that will be definitely an option. So research then uh, after you have collected all the images and do not skip on video if you found found a video go for it like right out the box 
go for it like it does not even matter it has to like 100% accurate of like P99 first generation 9 millimeter no let's just just care for it and this will give you a pretty decent idea how it's supposed to be like see this is first generation one and that will tell you like if you want to you know attach silencer this is how your uh, barrel should look like never ever skip on the research that's the whole motive here never ever skip on it you know do it it will not harm you and it will teach you a lot of things and videos have comes in handy because you know you can get a like a pretty good idea how trigger mechanism should work you know how back the slide should go like reset a lot of things and it just helps pretty helpful things yep there, there is a hand and you know you can get a pretty decent reference like how big it should be this will give you a like where should particle effect go okay so do not do not skip on it many people do it then once you have collected the data all you have to do is short them out because most of them won't be accurate to what you want like let's say I got this one see 40 Smiths and West I want 9 millimeter so boom it's out of the box and, you know you have to keep working then you sort it out like there is I made this folder it has only the models that I want like this. this kind of model also helps you out you know to uh, help you with the proportion sides that's you that's like that's it research one word research a lot and now I will go to show you how to do setup and yeah there is uh, there is one myth going around in this industry like use blueprint you will not find blueprint of guns or anything for that matter blueprints are classified data you just can't have them all you do is a line drawing which is highly inaccurate highly inaccurate I mean like uh, you go to like blueprint uh, org dot org or stuff like that you know this kind of sites and you're like okay I have I will pay them and you know get blueprint no they are all you are going to get is a freaking line drawing and it's not going to be accurate and if you need proof for that ask any game designer who done cars for you know triple a level games let's say you know need for speed most wanted the latest one for this is how hard a game is like for them to show like okay i am having a ferrari it's uh, it requires multiple steps first they have to you know talk to ferrari hey ferrari i'm going to you know show your cars they are like okay first show me how accurate it is they will send you know line drawings or you know artist will go like okay this is your deadline build a car in three weeks you will build like one lakh tries or something like that and then you will show to them Ferrari and Ferrari will say you know what that logo looks a bit off do the camera matching and fix it again that's how hard it is like it has to be 100% accurate if it is following the you know real world otherwise in concept the artist who designed the concept it must satisfy him you know it's like the world of war card the bow and arrow is like so huge it has to satisfy the artist who designed the concept and in real world it has to you know camera match that's the far end where you like that's the you know crown jewel if your uh, props camera matched like uh, if I put my gun here they should like completely cover it there should not be anything you know sticking out or sticking in every vertex should be like where it's supposed to be in this gun golden you're like epic but that's quite hard to do especially in guns where you don't get as much as reference as you need in cars you may get but you know so once you have completed the research department and you have sorted out so I would recommend you use images instead of blueprints so I completed this image now once you have collected the data uh, you need uh, two kinds of data one is like game data what the second is the you know geometry data geometry data is like length width and height so you create a box on based of that name and dimension box or what's whatever you want and then you need gaming data that will you know it won't be a text file you have to send it to the programmer they will like okay it this gun is like 630 grams and when it falls what kind of sound it should generate and like you know how much it should fly off you know if a grenade goes off 
nowadays games are getting really complicated so these kinds of data are like becoming really important now if you use a real image there are a lot of benefit of it and side effects as well side effect well you won't find any other side of it like you know there is no front there is no top all i have is this left and i don't have the right of this gun so you know uh but this helps you a lot it will show you how the curve supposed to be like you know like how the curve supposed to be how deep this should be like it gives you a lot of perspective and if you find an image and you don't think the line is straight enough or you know you're just having a feeling it's not um you know flat enough it may have perspective error or something known as barrel distortion you can fix it in photoshop and if you are like this side you definitely going to need the other side because gun is not a symmetrical object so boom yep it's the same gun first generation p99 9 mm it's the same generation but yeah it's black this black polymer is black in that side it's green and you match it to like as accurate as you can and this box see the line must this white line is the my bounding box my gun must not exceed it the sights can because sights are adjustable you know magazine because they are with perspective distortion build the geometry in orthographic verify in perspective don't build in perspective it's my opinion you can you know definitely build it but there is a reason why 3ds max gives you only one perspective and three orthographic and in orthographic you can zoom in and out as much as you can and you definitely get a better idea of size in perspective you know it's confusing and unless you are doing camera match i do not suggest that only at the end you know look at perspective and you know fix it like uh, the model that i showed you earlier like this model if i show you how it's supposed to be i did not find any this side images but i had the video so see it's definitely not supposed to be this pointy and definitely if you have this uh, vertex here it must not be so pointy you know you know and this side is the side that game character will see in the first person shooter version second once you have done the setup you know build the box you know create planes like uh, once you can use this use planes to you know map out just roughly the left or right sides to match you know it can be 100% accurate see close enough and i'm not aiming for camera match now once you have done the setup uh, there are quite a few things that you still need to know and uh, most important of them are game props are not just one prop you don't have to build it once you have to build it multiple times like a uh, game may need a multiple version of it like first person view in which case you have to only build the left side and like very high resolution let's say 10000 is the budget you have to spend all 10000 tries on the left side right side you have to do you know it still gives a feeling of volume but you know you can skip on texturing and other stuff and you may have to build a multiplayer version in which it should be equally balanced try should be on the front try should be on the back blow and everything and then of course lods level of detail reduced level of let's say 1500 tries is for this uh, it reduced to like 700 and other stuff computers can do that but they are not very good at it and especially if you are making game like let's say triple level triple a level and they have time they will go for the manual work and maybe damaged editions like where you change the textures for you know for some purpose or like you get the idea it's not just one prop it's like a, a living thing you have to make a lot of it so that was the video hope it helped you how to get started in making a game props game props are not easy so do not make that mistake in like oh i made this gun and like I don't, I cannot even tell how the heck this dude thinks it's a realistic looking and nice and all that stuff, you know. Like, this will get you into animation industry pretty easily, but will get you fired or, you know, kicked, killed, depending what, you know. So, that was my video of how to get started. This is only about starting because in geometry I have to make another video. I will do that. 
and if you have any questions about the methods or you know anything you want to know just type in the comment i will reply within 24 hours so if you have any questions let it rip thank you youtube and hope you like it subscribe thank you